Welcome to Hot Dog Network. Today is Thursday, January 26th, and what a better way to start your day than with us. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Nick, and welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your ice day yesterday. Hey, dogs. For lunch today, lines one and two will have taco meat and Dorito bags. Line three is closed. Line four, soup and salad bar featuring chicken and rice soup. Line five, Big Daddy Pizza. Today, a happy birthday goes out to Maria Quijosa Angelis. Now to weather with Ollie. Thanks, Ricardo. Today, you'll be greeted by clear skies and a high of 44 and a low of 25. Yesterday, as you well know, it was icy, so much so that a semi almost jackknifed in front of me on my way to Lebanon. Fun times for all involved. Also, on a semi-related topic, today's weather has been brought to you via NDI technology. It's a process in which the video feed from that camera is transferred, not through hard wire, but through the internet. If I understand correctly, this means that I'm finally the big time streamer that I've always wanted to be. Back to the studio. Thanks, Holly. Karina from the Immigrant Connection will be at the Purdue Extension office every Monday, starting next week from 12 to 7 p.m. She will be in one of the empty offices in the main office. Seniors that have not ordered, that have not yet ordered their cap and gown have until February 15th. Please see Mrs. Rennick in the office. The cost is $50. All NHS members will meet in Mrs. Fortner's room today during community. There is no need to check in with community teachers. Uh, just come directly to one, room 137 so that we can get started right away. Lunchtime Book Club uh, has a video that they want to show you. Hi, Ms. Holden. We are we here to ask you about uh, Lunchtime Book Club? Well, it's a good thing you're here today because Lunchtime Book Club was supposed to be yesterday since we had a snow day. We've rescheduled it for next Wednesday, January 31st. And this is the book that we're reading. It's called Wonder. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen the movie. We have a few copies. If you haven't gotten your copy, you can come in and get it. Um, it's a wonderful book, wonderful story, timeless ageless every age group is going to love it every girl boy makes no difference everyone's going to love it and we provide lunch it's all three lunch hours a b and c lunch and i hope to see y'all there thank you next wednesday january 31st thank you all right it was great meeting you it was great seeing uh, you yeah sorry <laughs> have a great day i get this off next thursday <laughs> pins community to rushton room 115 today as, a, as Academic Bowl is still coming, see Senior Forner for more details if you wish to participate. The first 20 students to sign up for the fan bus for Saturday's game at Knightstown will receive a free ticket to the game. A free ticket and a free bus ride. Once the 20 tickets are gone, ticket prices will return to $10. Auditions for the musical Bye Bye Birdie are today and tomorrow. Please meet in the choir room at 3. You must attend both tryouts. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Taylor. 21st Century Scholar is pairing with Ivy Tech Anderson to host an opportunity for families and students to come in and to receive assistance with their 21st Century Scholarship. They will have FAFSA or FAFSA specialists, state financial aid representatives, and college experts available to answer, answer any questions that you may have. This great opportunity will take place tonight from 5 to 7. Today, DECA after dark hours are from 5.30 to 7.30. You will enter door number 4. Now to sports with Maddie. The hot dogs went very well Tuesday night versus the catfish. The event winners that night were Annie Giebel, Aubrey Teeter, Haley Campbell, Katie Stitzworth, and Joel Sanchez. The girls basketball varsity and JV both lost to Hamilton Heights. Leading varsity in scoring was Riley Seibert and Kimmy Kingma with six points. JV was led by Liz Sandoval with five points. The boys golf team will have a call-out meeting on Friday, January 26th at 8 a.m. for those wishing to participate this spring. The meeting will be in Mr. Rick room, Mr. Rick's room, room 103. Returning players and first-timers should plan to attend. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. 
Thanks for watching the daily announcements. We'll see you tomorrow.